What's going on you big beautiful bastards? Welcome back to another career simulation. Today we have the last of the four major quarterbacks from the 2023 draft, Will Levis. So I'm not going to lie, this is something I should have done with Bryce Young, CJ, and Anthony Richardson. I am forcing him to go to the Titans because it's it's already decided where he goes and he's a rookie right now. This is simulating his career so his career should start where he got drafted. I'm going to keep Vrabel for this one too because I actually like Vrabel as a coach. It feels weird clicking draft on this. I got a trophy for that so the team still wants to start ryan Tannehill. um so the team wants to keep ryan Tannehill as a starter they're wrong he's getting traded to the giants for a seventh round pick in 2025 even not even in next year's draft there it is will levis is now the starter derrick henry robert woods Traylon burks Okonkwo. this team is gonna be bad probably yeah unless derrick henry rushes for 2,000 yards they went seven and ten and missed the playoffs levis wasn't great either finishing with 4,033 yards 30 touchdowns and 9 picks. I guess it's a rookie season, but it's not great. Yeah, Derrick Henry carried. I just wanted to see if he was rookie of the year and Ryan Tannehill won MVP, because that makes sense. And he loses out offensive rookie of the year to Anthony Richardson. This team signed two receivers in one offseason. They bring in Mike Evans and Curtis Samuel. That makes no sense, but I fucking love it. You guys are coming over from TikTok. How's it going? Welcome to the shit show. How they got Mike Evans, I don't know, because Mike Evans isn't leaving Tampa, but it's Madden, actually, so he probably would. Yeah, the moment he could so with adding the receivers they win the division in levis's sophomore season i'm imagining he has better looking stats than he did last season a little bit one more touchdown at like 200 more yards not that much better definitely didn't win mvp let's see how he can do against the chiefs they're probably gonna get blown out so they end up losing in the wild card round uh they were down the whole game they scored a touchdown with one second left while down 15 they kicked the extra point uh they lost by eight levis threw 272 and no touchdown still didn't get to watch him play he did throw a pick this receiving core is stacked, by the way. Mike Evans may have regressed, but Curtis Samuel went up, and so did Traylon Burks. Like, they shouldn't be losing games this season. He's also an 83 now, so they should make the playoffs again. Back-to-back 10 in 7 years. They don't win the division this time, so no home playoff game, but they're back at least at 10 and 7. He had his worst season so far with his least yards and least touchdowns. That's not looking good. So again, it's looking like they're gonna get blown out for the second straight year in the wild card game, and they do. They lose by 10. They were down by even more it was 23 to 6 at one point he throws for 214 a touchdown and two picks with a 58 percent completion percentage he's not off to a great start did that say ryan Tannehill was miami's quarterback <laughs> never mind it's ben mcpherson i just dumb going into year four he's up to an 85 curtis samuel's still here they got a new tight end derrick henry of course is still here mike evans has regressed even farther and this is elton simpson there's always the one auto-generated player that carries this team that's the guy right there that's the one let's see how hard derrick henry carried this team this year 12 and 5 damn maybe the passing offense was better then the passing offense was not better other than the fact he threw more touchdowns what's derrick henry have 2,000 yards and 20 touchdowns hey 1,817 touchdowns close enough they're gonna lose to the steelers in the first round tj watt Najee harris jalen carter ended up in pittsburgh that's pretty cool i wish that'd be hot it is a one point game they have the ball with four minutes to go let's see what they can do it's probably just gonna be a handoff to derrick henry every play right there it is for the first time oh my god go never mind just do that if you can carry will levis to a super bowl just do that get out of the shotgun get back under center and hand the derrick henry's not in oh god it's a pass he's gonna throw the ball Never mind, he's handing it off to the other guy, and the other guy's getting yards. See, this is all you gotta do. The Titans don't need anything other than Derrick Henry. It's probably gonna be another handoff, right? Oh my god, he's throwing the ball. Holy shit. He, where are you? Will! Will, he caught it! No shit! <laughs> Oh my god, Mike Evans is a dog. And the defense let up a touchdown, so now they gotta go back out there again. Fourth and four, the most important play of his career. Hopefully to finally get out of the wild card round, that was wide open, and again, it's Mike Evans. Like, oh, you gotta get to the line. Almost 30 seconds left on the clock here. Levis has gotta put together a drive. One timeout left. They can tie the game, but a touchdown helps and wins it. They're gonna just play for the field goal though. What is this? 36 plus 10 plus 7. A 53-yard field goal to win the game. 
or tie the game, I guess. Send it to overtime and the kick. It's good. They're going to OT. Maybe I'm just dumb. I thought it was only in the playoffs that the other team got another possession. But here we go. It's overtime. They're up by seven. You got to score. Nice play over the middle. I don't know who the backup running back is. Feels like a pass-heavy situation, just knowing Madden and everything. You know, it's two minutes left. He's dropping back to pass. He's almost sacked. Nice play, though, there to the running back again. Five. They were five wide again. He's dropping back. It's been this running back every play. Jackson, that's three plays in a row. They made it downfield pretty quick in overtime. Uh, they're down seven still. He's got a score here. And oh my God, Mike Evans again. Jeez, dude, he, Mike Evans is the greatest receiver in the history of football. The defense forced Pittsburgh to punt. 34 seconds left. Ball at the 20. There is a chance that he could win this. A field goal wins the game. He's got his X Factor active. Mike Evans has completely taken the game over. Levis almost has 400 yards passing. He's dropping back again. <gasps> Why? Oh God, my heart. I get way too invested in these, bro. I love this shit. And there he goes going deep what are you doing oh my god how do you not intercept that that's very Steelers defense like here he goes again from the shotgun third and ten you gotta throw it that's TJ fucking what I'm so dumb I've been thinking about overtime rules this whole time this is the playoffs defense doesn't look like defense did not come up clutch they end up losing off a field goal and fall in the wild card round for the third time Levis had 388 and four touchdowns and once again Kenny Pickett isn't here in Pittsburgh Peter Dobson threw for 402 and four touchdowns Going into year five, everything changed. Mike Evans got sick and tired of Will Levis' shit. Curtis Samuel must have done the same thing. So now Eldon Simpson is the number one receiver. Oh, wait, Derrick Henry's gone too. It's over. It's over already. His fifth season, they're gonna suck. I was right. Yeah, four and 13. Levis still can't hit 4,000 yards. He only threw 19 touchdowns. That should also be the end of his rookie contract. So uh, I could very well see this team letting him go, even though he's an X-Factor quarterback. They should, but it's Madden. So he'll resign on like a $40 million deal because he has an X-Factor. So we re-signed. He's an 89, down to a gold, lost his X-Factor, but we have Cheeks. Deron Cheeks comes in to be the Lord and Savior because a running game has to carry the Titans 100% of the time. Shout out CJ2K. He re-signed on a $26 million contract. Shouldn't be that. $26 million earning $30 million in his last year. Shouldn't be that expensive because, uh, again, he hasn't thrown over 4,000 yards in the past three seasons. They missed the playoffs again in his sixth season. They go 8-9. Hopefully he did a little better i didn't see the ranking for the passing offense but he had again one of the worst seasons of his career which is impressive he just keeps getting worse 32nd ranked passing offense so he went up to a 90 cheeks our boy our boy's still here that's all that matters simpson's still around they had drafted a new receiver that's nice and bellinger's still here still last place in the division 710 cheeks isn't carrying like derrick henry will levis probably isn't playing his part he's back over 4,000 yards so that's all that matters what's cheeks looking like show me cheeks Stat. Cheeks just ain't scoring the touchdowns that Derrick Henry did. Derrick Henry had 15 plus every year. Cheeks had eight. He stayed at 90. Cheeks 99. Of course, he should be. Absolute best running back in the league. Simpson's still here at 87. He lost his gold. The rookie they drafted went up four overall. He was 79. And Bellinger's just been here for eight years now. So even 99 overall, Cheeks can't carry this team. Uh, they go eight and nine. Bottom of the division again. Missed the playoffs. 29th ranked passing offense. And he's under 4,000 yards again. He's just not great. I mean, this is I'm not surprised he fell to 33 for a reason. Cheeks had fucking 1600 yards and 16 touchdowns. On to year nine of disappointment. Going into year nine, he's an 88. Cheeks. Cheeks, you're still a 99. I love you. You're my favorite player on this team. You might be my favorite player ever. Eldon's still here. Rhodes got better. And Bellinger just won't leave. Holy shit, they had a positive record. Okay, year nine, they're back to nine and eight. They still missed the playoffs, but it's progress. They went positive for the first time in a while. He's still ass. Cheeks probably did great, right? Look at my boy Cheeks. He's so good. I actually think that was the end of his contract extension he signed too after his rookie year. So maybe he leaves. I doubt it again. Nobody ever leaves this early in their career. It's always towards the ass end. He's already regressing like bad he's down to an 86 simpsons at 90 cheeks lost it overall man Rhodes is an 84 and bellinger 10 years in you're still here and they're back to eight and nine 31st ranked passing offense bro levis is bad maybe this again this is why he dropped 33 maybe this is why he wasn't first round pick is he bad i don't know he's down to an 85 now in year 11 cheeks got his 99 back thankfully simpson eldon our boy is now regressing uh Rhodes is still getting better oh my god bellinger's gone 
praise the Lord. He was the bad luck. They're going to the playoffs this year. Year 11, they go 9-8. and eight. They make the playoffs. They play the division-winning Texans in round one. Did Will have a better season? Probably not. Ah, not too bad. 32 touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards. He can't crack 4,000 yards. Will is not good. But also, Will has turned it on in the playoffs every year, so maybe we get playoff Levis and he wins a couple playoff games this year. Four and a half minutes to go here. It's second and 10. They're past the 50. Levis has a chance to lead a game-winning drive in the wild card round. He hands it off to the running back. That's your boy Cheeks. He's got 15 rushes for 39 yards. In the shotgun here, probably going to be a pass. Yep, he's dropping back. Over the middle was wide open. Good throw. 301 and two touchdowns. What'd I tell you? Playoff Levis, man. He turns it on when they get to the playoffs. He can't throw for shit when they're in the regular season, but in the playoffs, he's a different breed. Again, dropping back to pass. Will Levis to the flats, and it's intercepted. Wow, good job, Will. Good job. They end up losing the game by six, and again, Will Levis loses in the wild card round. He is really bad at football. I don't even know how to solve any of these problems. He got out. He outplayed Zach Wilson, but Zach Wilson beat him. Going into year 12, Levis has now regressed all the way down to an 84. Cheeks is a 98. Our boy Simpson and Rhodes are still here. Phillips, I think, was the tight end last season. I can't remember. Year 12, 11 and 6. Actually, one of the best seasons he's had of his career, and they won the division. But did Levis actually do anything, or was it all Cheeks? Oh my god, Will, you had 4,000 yards. I'm so proud of you. Levis has him up by 10 late in the game. The Jets do score a touchdown to make it a three-point game. Will's got a just kind of close it out here just run the timeout and he's gonna do it they're gonna win they're going on to the divisional round I don't know. I don't think this is the first time, but it might only be the second. He throws 254 and two touchdowns. He beats out Max Landry. In the divisional round, they draw the Miami Dolphins, who had a 12-5 and five regular season. I don't know if they're going to be able to win this one. Will is a little hit or miss, depending on the day. He's going to do it. They're up by 13 with under a minute to go. Well, it's only a six-point game, but it's over. There you go. Will Levis is going to the AFC Championship game in his 12th season in the league. He threw for 194 and a touchdown. Not a great Great game, buddy. And they play the Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC Championship game. This genuinely could be Will's one and only shot at a Super Bowl, so I need him to play out of his mind here. Maybe like 400 yards and six touchdowns, right? That, that'd be good. Third and three here. They really need a first down. They're going to fake the end around, hand it to Cheeks, and Cheeks gets stuffed. They're going to have to kick a field goal. And the Steelers are going right down the field and score a touchdown. So now with a minute 12 left, Levis has to score a touchdown. 266 and three touchdowns with the chance to throw a game-winning touchdown with around 30 seconds left in the game he's dropping back gets hit as he throws this isn't looking good third and 10 28 seconds left is this a hail mary formation already don't start throwing hail marys right now no it's not okay good there it is over the middle no he couldn't catch it fourth down the most important play of will levis's career with a super bowl on the line he lines up in the shotgun he's gonna drop back of course you gotta throw here over the middle what are you doing where are you throwing the ball and that's how the run ends 15 seconds left they might have all three timeouts but they're not getting another chance with the ball it's over and just like that the pittsburgh steelers are going to the super bowl and will levis is going home to debate whether he should retire early because he's really bad at football yeah i don't think levis is having a very long career we're going into year 13 he's already down to an 81 cheeks even regressed five overall and simpson is starting to regress he's down to receiver two while Rhodes steps up to be receiver one phillips is still here and there it is is. They fall off even more, and now they're out of the playoffs again after going to the AFC Championship game. They go 8-9, and 31st-ranked passing offense, and Levis is back to his normal self of under 4,000 yards and 25 touchdowns. Cheeks is still the guy. On to year 14. Honestly, I could see this team finally deciding to move on from him. They really should. In real life, they would have a long time ago, but it's Madden, so since he was above an 85 overall, they just rock with him and suck for years. Year 14, he's down to a 78. They they have an X-Factor quarterback waiting in the wing. Simpson is gone. Cheeks is gone. Phillips is still here. Rhodes is still here. This is probably going to be one of the worst years of his career so far. I say that, but I'm pretty sure they went 4-13 and the one season, so I imagine this year might be a little better than that, but it could be worse. They might go 1-16, and honestly. This team looked awful on paper. Very funny. They actually go 4-13. and 
uh, the passing offense was honestly ranked the highest it's been his whole career. And yeah, he had one of his best seasons, yet they were still ass. Honestly, this is probably his last year as a starter for this team. He might be a free agent, and if he's a free agent, I might just force him to sign back because I'm going to finish out his career. He's not going to retire a free agent. He's going to be on a team if he decides not to retire. And there it is. Will Levis is gone. He is no longer a Tennessee Titan going into his 15th season in the league. Let's go see if he's on another team he is a free agent he's signing back he is a tennessee titan again and whoever that x-factor quarterback is he's a punter he's gone so there it is will levis is back he gets one more year with Rhodes. phillips is now the backup tight end boot or cheeks is still not here i almost called him booty but it's cheeks they go eight and nine i had a lot of hopes i was really hoping that they just make the playoffs and levis would go off in his last season and he did do pretty good I guess compared to what his career has been it might not even be his last season he might be a 69 overall free agent next season so he's back in free agency going into his 16th season or 15th season I can't remember I think it's 16th because I think it's always one year ahead of what it says experience so uh he's getting re-signed at 38 years old and he's probably playing one more year and there you have it 69 overall Will Levis has one more year as a starter Rhodes is still here it looks like Philip is officially gone on and they have a decent running back now and year 16 they're absolutely awful 27th ranked passing offense so i mean levis couldn't have been terrible i mean yeah that's pretty bad buddy you're not great he was a 69 overall though so give him a break let's go to the off season and see if he retires and there it is quarterback will levis retires after 16 years in the nfl i don't imagine he made the hall of fame or anything so he doesn't make it on the all-time passing yards list or the all-time touchdown list not surprised like I said his numbers were mid his whole career so on that note though we are officially done with the entire 2023 rookie class of quarterbacks I am now going to move past that because they were all mid I could do other rookies like running backs or receivers or stuff but I'm just going to ignore that and the next sim we are going to do is going to be our first non-quarterback simulation that is going to be it for this video guys if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like subscribe do whatever you want I get if you don't Will Levis was mid in this entire video video is probably mid and it's probably the shortest sim we've done but on that note guys it has been fun i will see you guys in the next one peace out